morning guys it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire it's kind of overcast today a little bit of a chance of rain I think it is the 19th to 20th of April um, not any wind pretty much dead low tide right now so I'm gonna kind of hang around here for a little bit fish for about maybe an hour get this tide coming in and then I'm gonna go out and fish the flats like I've been doing um, so we'll see what we get Paul's not with me this morning uh, he might be feeling a little under the weather so we'll uh, See if we run into the Canton gang again this morning and uh, see if I can catch some trout. All right, to start off with a little white trout this morning. Real little. See if we can't do better than that. over here on the flat I've been fishing. Not what I wanted to see, but there's a fish. You are a fish, sir. And I had a giant shrimp on here. That little dude hit a giant shrimp. <laughs> he, he surprised me felt pretty confident he could uh well he did he did eat that shrimp maybe he bit it in half and then hit it again i don't know coal mine moonshine move it on down the line so i decided to move it on down the line because i only caught that one white trout over there didn't see them guys from canton so maybe they're not fishing yet here we go again I think this is another blue. Oh, it's a Spanish mackerel, guys. Awesome. And he's too little to keep. I hate that because I should really like to eat these things. I'll get it by the tail. It's been beat up a little bit and hit. Something got it on top right there. But they're good to eat. That's just a little too small. Alright, got something here again. Here's already swallowed my hook. So I'm gonna have to cut this line. But anyway, there he is. I'll show him to you before I get back here and cut this line and throw him back. Well, I guess I'll move to the back of the boat so you guys can see it when I reel it in. Something a little better. bad that's a little blue it's the smallest one yet and then them blue fish ain't afraid of a big uh, big piece of shrimp <laughs> not, not one bit intimidated I'll show you the shrimp well I can't show you the shrimp all you can do is show you the head there's a big old shrimp that little old bitty bluefish got it Wow. 
right. It's been about 15, 20 minutes since I caught a fish. And the way the tide current is flowing is changing a lot. So I've been trying to kind of move around. Uh, so maybe the trout are getting ready to move in here. We'll see. Another trout. Good sign. Little guy. It's been a while since I caught one. I had a got a white in here now. But I moved for a little bit, didn't catch nothing on the other spot. So I'm running a little low on shrimp. So I'll just fish until I run out of shrimp. get started back up again yeah so far this has just been a nice calm day of fishing no weird stuff going on no weird strange bite or equipment issues or boat issues or no people it's just uh, I'm, the, I'm the only boat I've seen out here that's fishing out in this area I've seen a couple of boats back up in Crooked River, but not many. So, it's a nice, calm, relaxing day today. I'll take it. And I'm not just killing the fish, but I'm catching one here and there. I had a big shark uh, break my line there a few minutes ago before I caught those last couple of fish. So, enjoy a nice day. Another little fighting. Yeah, these fish are obviously up here on this hump behind me just whenever bait comes through whenever schools of bait I don't know if it's shrimp or what come through they're feeding and you know it's not like just big schools of trout or big schools of whiting they're just kind of scattered whenever something comes through they'll eat now I would guess that schools of fish well I know schools of fish will get up here from time to time that's when you catch you know seven eight ten trout like this back to back but today it just seems like they're not really schooling up here good yeah the winds going this direction the tides going this direction you got this flat or hump and I'm just drifting this shrimp with the flow to cross it and I mean it's liable to hit way out there I'm liable to get a bite right next to the boat bite right there I mean it's just liable to be anywhere come on man yeah that one was way back there my last two or three bites have been way back there about 50 yards back It's a 
long way to reel one back. But it's a fun way to catch them. up there way more shallow shortened up my uh, knot so that my sinker doesn't go as deep because the water's getting in there really good on top of all them shells and stuff Another one up there shallow. But I am quickly running out of shrimp. Yeah, the other reason I did that is because I noticed that the current is pulling the float into the shallow water now. So I, that's one of the reasons I made it a lot more shallow. Because if that's the way the current's going, then that ought to be where the fish are, or where the bait's going. I don't know that this is a trout. If it is, it's a really big one. I don't think it is. Maybe a... Yeah, it's a shark. Yep, a shark. bad size one for a bonnet head. Y'all remember on uh, Forrest Gump where he just ran and ran and ran and ran across the United States back and forth and ran and ran and ran and then he finally stopped and he said to ask him why he stopped he said I'm tired I think I'll go home now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go home now. I fished and fished and fished. Here they are. <laughs> they said they was gonna be out here today. And here they are. He's waving like his boat was broke down. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all catch any today? Did you? Yeah, this is a good spot right here. Me and Paul fished here one time, and I caught some fish, and he didn't, so he got mad and left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I've only fished over here once or twice. Well, what made you want to come down here? Fish. <laughs> I got tired of Hey, Pauling County, I'd have to drive an hour and a half to get somewhere to fish, unless you wanted to fish Lake Alatoona. I wanted to leave there the whole time we lived there. My wife loved it, because she loved to be able to shop and, yeah. you know, everything in town and all that. Are you from there? You no. From there? No, I grew up in Chickamauga. Okay. I'm waving bye to the Calhoun, I mean, the uh, Canton gang. Yes, we're really fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, go roast off recording. <laughs>